guys, welcome to Audio Addiction. I'm actually gonna pull up the name because so I don't look like an idiot. So I'm gonna count it in again so I don't look like a dumbass. Anyway, three, two, one. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have when the clock strikes and they can say their names and what they do in the band. Uh, I'm Steven. I play guitar. Hey, I'm uh, Daniel. I play bass and I sing. Hey, I'm Blake and I play drums. Awesome, guys. So my first question is, I ask this to every band, how did you start out the band? How did you get your members? Uh, yeah, okay. So um, about 2014, uh, I had started a band. Uh, was jamming with a drummer. Uh, my friend Basin, I played with him for years off and on, which is different various projects and things. And uh, he never really fronted an outfit before, so I asked him if he wanted to. And a couple of years later, you know, things happened. Uh, and then about 2016 in February, uh, Blake came out and started playing drums for us. So that's kind of how it went. Awesome. <laughs> so did you guys collectively meet at, like, shows? Like, so how did how the whole, like, idea of, like, oh, I want to start a band and, like, do stuff and, like, play music and things? So Steve and I met in college. Uh, yeah. We went in a, met, in a math class. Um, and then, uh, once we got going, we played some shows. We met Blake, um, actually at a show. We were playing a midnight release event at a GameStop for, like, Smash Bros, I think. So, uh, yeah, I think it was Smash Bros. I think it was, like, Smash Bros 3DS or something like that. Nah, and yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, it was, like, a double release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was a ridiculous time. It was a lot of fun. And then we played video game covers and our songs. Awesome, guys. So my next question is, uh, what are some favorite venues you guys like to go catch a show at or even go play at? So we live, uh, you know, in Tulsa, Oklahoma area. Um, so, you know, big venues that touring bands like to come through. We have, you know, Kane's Ballroom is a really cool place to, to catch a lot of acts, um, national acts. Um, sometimes you'll catch people at the BOK Center. Um, I went and saw Penny for Disco last year, oh, and cool. it was really cool. Um, as far as like more local, like the Vanguard in downtown Tulsa is uh, is a really cool place um, where local acts play and then touring acts will come through too. So it's kind of the the best of both. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else? No, nope, that's pretty uh, much it. That's just kind of echoing that, like the Vanguard's where I've had the most fun recently. Awesome, awesome, guys. My next question is, to kind of follow up the venues, what was the last show that you attended? I feel like you already answered it a little bit, but... <laughs> the last show I went to, uh, like the last national touring show, I just saw Taking Back Sunday and Coheed and Cambria. Oh, sick, okay. Um, I had to drive to Arkansas for that one, but it was really cool. I saw them at the, at the Walmart Amphitheater. Um, it was a really good show. Lakers. Yeah, uh, uh, the last the last like touring band that I saw was the Front Bottoms. Oh, um, sick! Okay. Which is really, yeah, they're 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 one of my favorite bands. So that was really cool. It was my second time seeing them. Um, that was at the Canes, which is here in Tulsa. Before that, uh, I mean, not, I mean, we go to local shows all the time. So I mean, I could I could you know spout off a ton of shit like we saw play with Rose Gold the other weekend, uh, Beam Daylights. Uh, good fella, all, all, all cool guys from around here. Um, but I guess before that, the last actually, we, we all three went. We all saw Green Day about a year ago. Yeah, that was probably the last time we all went together to something like that wasn't <laughs> yeah. that wasn't uh, like us quote playing. unquote worked yeah. band related, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome guys. My next question, probably the most important one: uh, What are some of your musical influences? Hmm. Morning, you want to go first? Yeah, Blake's, uh, Blake hasn't got to go first yet. <laughs> Blake, you go first. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, man, uh, so like I just mentioned Green Day. Green Day is like one of my all-time favorite bands. I, I definitely steal a lot of drum stuff from, from Trey Cool. Um, but really just like early 2000s, like pop punky stuff, which I mean, that's, that's, that's a huge influence to us. So like Green Day, Taking Back Sunday is a big one for me. Um, most more recently, like Seaway and the Front Bottoms have kind of been creeping into my into my workflow lately. Awesome, awesome. Good uh, for me. Um, 
you know, I grew up on a lot of the, the 2000s pop punk stuff as well. Like, uh, when I played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on PlayStation, oh. like, you know, that, that was kind of like my gateway to, like, skate punk and, and that sort of scene. So it changed my world. Um, when I was in high school, you know, I grew up lyrically. My influences, you know, like Reliant K, um, Adam Young with L City. Like, I really appreciated those guys. Musically, uh, like Blink-182, Fall Out Boy. Uh, Mike Pima Coral Mance, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I kind of had, like, a, a transition, I'd say. Like, I played guitar, and so, like, a lot of my... A lot of what I listened to was very, like, guitar-based, guitar-oriented. When you start, it's kind of, like, all for, like, metal stuff, Metallica, early classic rock. You're trying to, like... You're trying to pull, like, very audible licks and things like that. So it starts there, and then, you know, you get to the, the heavier stuff, and... I don't know, sometime in 2004 or something like that, like, I heard My Chemical Romance, and I kind of, like, started switching a lot, and I started going to a lot of, um, a lot of shows, like, actually going out and seeing things in person, and it kind of changed into, oh, wow, I'm more about, you know, uh, the emo stuff, the post-hardcore stuff, the more, uh, the more pop-punk stuff, the more punk stuff. I was like, oh, cool, so it's like, so the transition from, like, what you listen to and what you try to be when you're just listening to something in your room to compare to like what you get to feel when you're with other people kind of like just switch that over for me so i i definitely got those sorts of like old school like pop punk like definitely tony hawk's pro skater style stuff um in that sort of nutshell of like artists so for me personally, like that was what struck me. I saw like your Facebook like post on it, and I was like, "This is so cool," because it definitely has that sort of old, <laughs> older vibe to it. Uh, so I, I definitely feel that sort of like nostalgia to it. So I, I appreciate that you guys have that sort of stuff to it, but also have that sort of modern like flair to it too. Because um, I feel like there aren't too many bands that can kind of do that well, and I would consider your band to do it definitely well. Hey, thanks a lot. Oh, yeah, thanks, Feels good. Man. Feels good. Awesome, guys. So my next question is a fun one. If you guys could pick a song to cover, what would it be? Hmm. Anything, my chem is kind of a great, like, wheelhouse for me. It's like, it's like super fast stuff. There's probably usually like a solo I can sink my teeth into. Like I'm probably about it. So no matter what, like in like just pick one, any album, <laughs> any song. I mean, I'd probably uh, I'd probably be fine with okay. any of those. Um, if I were to pick one, I'd probably go something. Uh, I would probably go Paramore, like something Ooh, from okay. either Riot or Brand New Eyes era. I think, yeah, like uh, that's what you get would be a fun one. Awesome. Like. Uh, man, I, I want to steal the mic and thing. Like we, we we've done that a few times, and it's always fun. Uh, and again, par- I don't I don't know, man. I, I feel like songs that we want to cover, we, we end up doing. So it's hard to. Like, we did Stacy's mom the other day, which was really fun. Oh, sick. Okay, okay. <laughs> we don't have a lot of shame, so if we really <laughs> like something, and we and and we wear influences on our sleeve anyway like everybody already kind of knows what we're about when they meet us so it's like oh well, you knew it was coming <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome well i'm glad that you guys are forefronted about it so i feel like I feel like a lot of people have those like guilty pleasures i know for myself i do too so uh i'm glad that you guys kind of wear your heart on your sleeve a little bit but uh my next question is another fun one gotta ask this favorite food to eat mm. I'm an easy guy and very stereotypical. Pizza's good, like any pizza, like a whole pizza usually. So, <laughs> so the amount is important, but yeah. So there you go. Uh, I'll, I'll go with pizza too. It's hard to beat. It's easy, you know. Like you please everyone with pizza. Blake, except uh, Blake. Man, I. <laughs> these these are the hard questions. Uh, I, right. I'm, a, I'm a sucker for any kind of like Asian food. Like I love like Chinese and Japanese food. Sushi's really up my alley. Nice, nice. All, all fab, fabulous choices. You know, I'm all about the pizza life. I had some ramen before we chatted, so you know, I'm, I'm feeling there good you right go. now. Yes. But there's, my next, a, there's a cool, there's a cool ramen bar in downtown Tulsa that I like to go to. Well, sometimes. that's why I ask, like sometimes for venues and things. Like if I ever decide to take this on the road somehow, uh, I would love to like visit 
like cities that I've done interviews with bands with. So I will I'll add Oklahoma to the list of of tour dates if that ever manifests itself. But uh, my next question, guys. If you could pick somebody to collaborate with, whether it be a guest vocalist on your next record or a producer, who would you want to work with? Um, Man, I don't, I'll come back. Come back to me. Ooh, if I got to work with another vocalist, uh, man, like uh, Patrick Stump would be super cool. Ooh, yeah. Um, I mean, I already talked about Paramore. Haley Williams obviously would be great. Um, if I went for someone, uh, you know, maybe a little newer, like I think I like Halsey. I like her voice a lot. Oh, like, okay. Fun to, to work with her. Um, Blake, what do you think? Uh, I was going to say Haley Williams. I mean, I feel like that's like the, the number one. I know it's super popular and everyone's going to say that, but it's how I feel. Fair enough. I'm having a little trouble breaking, uh, breaking my hold on reality. Like I'm having a little bit of trouble. It's like, oh, wow. Like somebody hypothetically, I have to go big. But who? But anyway, so I, I, uh, I'm done. I don't have one. I don't have one. We can maybe come back later. <laughs> Just over it. Are we talking about? I feel, I feel like you said like a lot of my chems. So I feel like Jared Gerard Way would be like super sick. Uh, yeah, that would be that would be perfect. Mm, any yeah. like literally any of them. I'd like a a dual guitar solo with Ray would be like oh. awesome. <laughs> you know, <laughs> something like that. I'll try to hang. You know, <laughs> I think you, I think you could hold your own. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd do fine. <laughs> Well, there we go. Awesome, guys. My next question is, if there was another musical instrument that you could just shred at, what would it be? Uh, definitely piano. I would like, like, uh, I mess around with, with some some small synth stuff on a couple of our tracks, like remixes and stuff, but, like, if I was, like, you know, really, really proficient at piano, like, that would be very cool. I, I would definitely say guitar. Like I can I can strum chords and stuff like that, but I can't I can't do any like lead or like solely bits. So I'd I'd like to be better guitar. Um yeah, what I'd like to do. Uh so I'd like to be able to sing. But pra more practically, I'd like to be able to drum. <laughs> All these things yeah. I could probably learn, but yes, so both of those things. <laughs> Maybe we'll just yeah. trade. Yeah, yeah just you. Fine. I feel we'll like swap yeah, just swap, dude. I want one show where you guys all like rotate, and then just you know, I feel like that'd be sick. Perfect. Yeah. So that, that, how, that would be, how are we going to get the drums into your car, Blake? That's just things we don't know. Yeah. That's the dilemma, <laughs> but I feel like that's a small dilemma on a bigger there issue. You, you know. Um, I feel like a lot of guitar players, because I've done a lot of interviews, I feel like guitar players always say drums, and I can say that I'm in that boat because I also play guitar, and I have no hand-feet coordination whatsoever. So I feel like that's why people pick it. I don't know. I might be in the I might be in the wrong in that way, but I, I feel like that's a common reason. Yeah, that was always a weird thing for me. Like, I played, back in the day, I played rock band, and so I played rock band drums. That was the closest I ever got. So it was like, hey, I can play this very basic beat, and I feel so cool right now. <laughs> awesome, guys. My next question, I'm a massive nerd, so I always got to ask this question. If you could be a video game character, well, who would you be? I feel like I know Blake's answer already. Uh, what's my answer, Daniel? Uh, I'm going to say Link. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> I, I was I was feeling Mega Man today. Personally, Ooh, okay. But, oh, right. okay. Respect. Hmm. Okay, Steven. Well, I mean, like you kind of took mine, so I'll go with. I'll go with. I'll go with zero. That way, we can be like Ooh, romantically involved. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Yep. You're um, dang right, you will. Good. <laughs> Good. Man, well, if I wanted to complete the trio, I mean, I could say, like, Proto Man or something, you know, be kind of edgy. He's going to go with uh, bass. Bass, yeah. <laughs> uh, if I was going to go with a different series, man, I don't know. Like, I like Riku. Kingdom Hearts has always been a big one. Like, Ooh, I thought Riku yeah. was, you know, cooler than Sora. So, maybe so you to be the edgy guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> 
Oh man, oh man. Well, I'm glad that I'm talking to the right group of people because uh, I'm feeling like right. you know, feeling like Kingdom Hearts three. You know, I'll have I'll oh, have a PS4, hard. but I might might oh, consider yeah. it. I don't know. But anyway, I've only been so waiting full, for full like full a decade now. Full disclosure right now, I just bought a PlayStation 4 Pro, and I'm setting it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that noise is. We can is. hear you. That's what, yeah, we can <laughs> literally hear you said <laughs> I'm really impatient, guys, okay? <laughs> Clearly. We couldn't that's, tell. That's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, next question, guys. Uh, in your opinion, who puts on a great live show in terms of bands that you've seen? Mm. So, bands that I've seen recently, like, Panic for the Disco, uh, Brendan was very, very cool, you know, he did a lot of stuff, you know, he was just showing off the whole time with his with his voice, falsetto, every song, you know, just an extra spots here and there, uh, that was really cool, uh, Paramore, saw them last year, oh, yeah. you know, that was just, everyone was having a good time, uh, what do you think, Steve? Man, I gotta say, if you're going for, like, best like Titus most like technically proficient like band I've ever seen and I've seen some tech metal stuff this and that and the other Paramore is Paramore kind of sweeps everyone like it's just it's energy the whole time everything is perfect and in its place and everything feels good the whole time so I think I gotta go with gotta go with them um I could go on all day about our friends that I see like every show big or small putting on like an immense amount of passion and just like going for it but but uh but yeah like if we're if we're doing something like that somebody can easily latch onto yeah paramore is the one paramore is the one <laughs> yeah Blake. Blakers, what you got uh i mean kind of just simming on with like some of the obvious choices like when we saw green day like that was pretty much flawless i don't really have any complaints about it but kind of downs a little bit like uh Still on a large scale, but the front bottoms I think are really cool because again, they're they're just as tight as tight can be, and uh, they have like a million things going on. They have like seven people up there. There's pianos. There's like woodwind. There's trumpets. Like I don't know. They're, they're, they're fun to watch. <laughs> I will agree with the Paramore. I saw them uh, at a call. I saw them at a college in New Jersey, uh, where I live, and they oh, and uh, the Wonder Years opened for Paramore. So what? it was wild. The Wonder Years are really good. Uh, oh, that's a great show. So that was such a phenomenal show. Show, and I I love seeing them. Um, I also like that you mentioned Front Bottoms because I think they are also from New Jersey, I believe, as well. And I know that they're going on tour soon too with uh, Manchester Orchestra. So. I'm probably going to go check that Ooh, out. Oh, that'd be a cool show. Um, but and next question, guys, to follow up with best live bands, if you guys could compile a dream tour, who'd be on it? Man. <laughs> Your face okay, said so it all. <laughs> yeah, huh? My chem is coming back. They're yeah. playing with Paramore, <laughs> and the follow-up boys coming with them. Yeah. There you go. Um, if I was to mix it up, if I was to mix it up with bands we haven't already talked about forever, um, <laughs> I think it'd be really no. cool to go with Water Parks. Uh, they're one of my new okay. recent, like, cool. newer favorite bands. I really like them. Um, you know, the energy, the craziness. Uh, so I'd say maybe Water Parks, uh, you know, let's say Blink. Um, if we wanted to, you know, like a, a left field pick, maybe I want, every time I die to open this show, specifically this one. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, good. that's fine. I was going to say someone maybe more old school, like Descendants. I feel like no. they'd be a lot of fun to hang I mean, them too. Also, them. Yes. Okay. Everyone only gets like a thirty minutes, so <laughs> <laughs> I have to fully yeah, agree. I don't like these questions. They're too hard. I <laughs> hey listen, I, I never said it was gonna be easy, so <laughs> Right. Um, I agree with the uh, every time I die thing, and it's kind of weird that you mentioned them because they are actually opening for like three, I think three or four dates around me for that Fallout Boy tour with uh, yeah! MGK. So yes, I saw something bizarre like that. I was like, that is perfect. Somehow. Yeah, they they are literally <laughs> playing. Uh, I think like a week or two from now at this point and it's i'm like debating but i'm like at the same time i'm like would i pay fallout boy ticket prices to see every time i die when i can literally <laughs> see them like two months from now when they're just headlining so 
Mm, don't know. I mean, I feel like that every time I die, like lineup that they got going on later in the year is really sick. It's uh, them, Turnstile, uh, Angel Dust, and Vane. So I'm really excited for that. So fingers crossed going to that one. But my next yeah. question, guys, is a fun one again. Favorite TV show? Favorite movie? Oh man, um, I'd probably. Man, this, I feel kind of basic for this. I'd have to go with the Dragon Ball series. Like, I've watched all of Super, you know, in, like, the last year. Uh, I really I really loved it, so. Um, and I grew up on Dragon Ball Z, of course, so. Like, oh, man. like Daniel's, Daniel's doing all my answers. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, you gotta do a movie, though. You gotta do a movie. Hold on, hold on, Blake. What? Mace is, Mace oh. is not good at movies. This you gotta do a movie, too, though. Can we, like, come back? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mace doesn't watch <laughs> movies, dude. Like, it's... It's insane. Like I literally have to, I have to force him almost to go watch movies. Like it's almost, it's almost exclusively a sh social thing. I mean, yeah. really, that's, that's really kind of true. Um, I, it's like, Mace, come with me, based in, like, I, I mean, I was doing. I don't yeah, know. <laughs> Steven, you watch movies all the time. You go first. I know, yeah. which makes my mine hard for different reasons. <laughs> uh, Okay, yeah. so like I hit a lot of I hit a lot of the like the Marvel superhero movies. Obviously, you know I hit Infinity War. Spider Man is my favorite. So like I liked I liked Andrew Garfield Spider Man um, Ooh, because okay. he just felt really fun. Okay. Um, and Emma Stone was great. Uh, you know, as Gwen Stacy, uh, fantastic. But I mean, Tom Holland is also a really good Spider Man. So you know, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to pick between them. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time is probably Scott Pilgrim vs. the World because, you know, it's it's also, you know, playing on those those comic, those video game influences. It's all there. So it's, it's kind of perfect because it's music and video games yeah. and, and everything all in one package. So maybe that is my favorite movie. We'll go Scott Pilgrim. Perfect. Fantastic. Oh, man. Blake, you ready yet? Uh, I mean, so, again, like, Dragon Ball is a good one, but, like, uh, The Office is probably, like, yeah. I knew it. I knew like, it. <laughs> I love. I love The Office. Like I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. Like I watch that show all the time, especially in college. Like I would just watch that show on repeat. <laughs> man, man, I don't. So, TV shows are hard, um, but yeah, like I said, I watch. Like it's just like a constant, like pouring. Uh, I don't know. Like a top movie of all time is hard. Uh, one that I've like really kind of like beat like drawn to in the last few years and I watch it over and over again like weirdly like almost compulsively and it's not like that one it's not like top 10 movie of all time but Blue Ruin it's like this weird like okay. revenge okay. like flick or whatever and I keep like I keep watching that over and over again um, I love horror movies um, as far as like a top horror movie like one of my favorites is uh, Inside it's like a French film it's like a home invasion -y sort of thing um, it's just, <sighs> So those are two super dark movies. So there you go. Um, I used to watch Terminator Two like on loop as a kid. <laughs> so so that's like ingrained in there too. Um, man, as far as TV shows go, I don't really have a. I don't have a good one. I don't have a good one. Um, but. Yeah, there you go. That's all I got. I don't know. So that's that's a super non-event because I because my thoughts bottlenecked really hard. So tomorrow <laughs> I have like five more choices. That's, that's how it go. happens. Uh, I'll <laughs> I'll get I'll get messages from people. They're like, oh, I remember my favorite TV show. I favorite remember <laughs> this thing. I completely forgot about this thing. So feel free to just hilarious. message me about it, and I'll just put text. <laughs> okay. I'll put text okay. somewhere so people get the, an idea of what you're, what people like. But anyway, my next These are question. These not psychologically damaged. Just put it across the top. Like, there you go. <laughs> I will put all of that in there. But my next question, guys, if there was one album that you could be listening to for the next month straight, what album would it be? Ooh, uh, I thought about this one a little bit. Uh. So, just for, like, sheer volume, like, I really liked, uh, I really liked the deluxe version of California by Blink, because it's, like, 25 songs or something yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, so long. So, I mean, like, you know, that'd probably be good, because I do, I like the album, and there's just a lot, so maybe that'd be easier than some albums. Uh, Infinity on High by Fall Out Boy is on the list, you know, maybe that one. Uh, I forget what else made my short list. Uh, December Underground by uh, AFI was on oh, there. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, such a child. 
I'm, I'm like I'm just slightly older than me, than you, so like mine is Sing the Sorrow. Oh. But, but you know what I mean? It's like, oh. <laughs> so there we go. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, uh, sorry, Blake. I'm done. Blake, you're up. Sorry, what was the question? The it's question like, was. Okay. If there was one album that you could listen to for the me- next month straight, what album would it be? Sorry, you're kind of cutting out. I kind of missed the question. Uh, oh, man. So, I mean, there's classics. Like, I, I keep bringing up Green Day, but like, Dookie is a big one for me. <laughs> but um, more more recent stuff, and I, I'm the worst. I can't even think of the name. But uh, Seaway is the most recent one. Uh, uh, it's Vacation, I believe. Vacation? Yeah, yeah, yeah Vacation. Yeah. I, I, yep, I've, been, I've been jamming that for... Probably the past month, to be honest. But <laughs> um, my answer is "I Get Wet" by Andrew WK. <laughs> oh, okay, I, okay, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> because it's, I mean, technically, it's the same song the whole time too. And that's so, 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 yeah, so yeah, so I'm so I'm just fine. I'm fine with that too. Just settle in. Just settle in. <laughs> I um. So it was like one of those middle of the night, like uh, you know, long gigs on the drive home, and. Uh, just trying not to let everybody fall asleep, so I crank that one up all the way. And uh, <laughs> Full blast. it's it's the only one that Bays, it's the only like one of the few times Bays has been angry, like literally angry <laughs> in the park. But uh, you know, we all, but we all lived. <laughs> I woke up from the back seat, you know, just pulsing the same drum beat over and over. I'm like, what is going on? What, where am I? So lived. Oh. We're gonna put that in a bunch of air quotes. Lived. So, you know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're if, right. I, if I hear about you guys later, I, I know it happened. But anyway, <laughs> lastly, tell them about your band, where they can find you at, and anything coming up in the next couple months. All right, cool. So we released a new EP in March of this year called Overnight. Um, we got five new songs on that. Um, and we're currently in the process of releasing some music videos to go along with those songs. Um, within the last month, we released a music video for our song Ducks, and actually just today, um, our video for Plate Tectonics came out on Facebook. September 6th. <laughs> We're dating it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. The day of this recording, we September 6th. Sorry. Man. Yeah, I'm with you now. Man. I was like, what? <laughs> that took a minute. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm here now. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just the meme of Robin Williams and Jumanji. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't know where I am still. I'm still recovering from that NWK album. Um, and so we have our next show is September 15th in Pryor, Oklahoma. We'll be playing for some friends, like a uh, uh, EP release. So, um, as far as where you can find us. We're on Apple Music, we're on Spotify, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, everywhere. We have a website, whentheclockstrikes.com. So you can find our, our show schedule there. You can find our show schedule on Spotify. So, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's most of it. It's good. It's good. We're working on Bates and doing the other shows. It's It has a 20% success rate. <laughs> <laughs> We always give you a Who yeah. were they? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, uh, go check out When the Clock Strikes. Uh, I actually saw your post on Facebook, uh, and I saw a bunch of my friends shout out to Derek uh, from Dreamhouse and a few other people that I know comment on some things of yours. So I was like, let me check out the song because you know why not uh and i gave it a listen and i was like man this is some really good shit i feel like i was kind of transported back in time i love the music video about the duck that thing got me super hyped i loved it um uh, but go check out their band seriously really good stuff i had no idea you had released an ep so i'm gonna have to go check that out now um so go check out their band links are in the description where you can find out all about all of their music touring things of that nature um and please go check them out on spotify go check out their ep because i'm sure if it's as good as that song i feel like the rest of it's going to be pretty good as well so go do that uh if you enjoyed this interview please subscribe hit that thumbs up and comment andrew wk in the comments if you watch this whole thing so uh and then thank you guys for coming on and chad no thank you for having us hey yeah thanks for having us man hey guys hope you enjoyed the video 
Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos, so definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button, it really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media, that's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces!